dear students welcome back in the previous class we have learned lesson 11 in your grammar book i hope all who understood the lesson and completed the book back exercise in this class we are going to learn lesson 12 in your grammar book the topic of the lesson is else and or else okay so now all of you take a textbook it means a grammar book take page number 59 take it fast we are going to see it Dear students, take page number 59. So, what is the topic today we are going to learn? Already I told else and or else. See, else is equal to other. First, they given the introduction. Else can be used after the following verse. So, no one, it means no one else, anyone else, someone else, everyone else, now the else. It means like it is equal to other also. So, and then nobody, anybody, somebody, everybody, anywhere, nothing else. It means uh, else has come, it is used after the following words. Anything else, something else, everything else, somewhere else and everywhere else. So, all of you see these words. Since all the above words are singular, a singular verb is always used for the, them. So, you know what is the difference between the singular and the plural. Some first one, some other person. It is equal to someone else or somebody else. So, already I told else is equal to other. And second one, any other person is equal to anyone else or anybody else. Third one, no other person, no one else or is equal to nobody else. And fourth one, all other persons is equal to everyone else and is uh, of course everybody else. And fifth one, some other thing is equal to something else. Sixth one, any other thing is equal to anything else. Seventh one, no other thing is equal to nothing else. Eighth one, every other thing is equal to everything else. Ninth one, in or at or to to some other place is equal to somewhere else. Tenth one, in at to is any other place is equal to anywhere else. Eleventh one, in at to is no other place is equal to number else. Twelfth one, in or at or to is every other place is equal to everywhere else. See the all the following sentence, if it is a Above words are the singular, the verb is also used as a singular. So, generally, what we could understood, which are the place after we used else, we should remember from the above words they are given in the page number 59. Okay. So, else is equal to other. Just remember that. Now, all of you turn page number 60. Page number 60. Look at the following sentence. I shall have to ask some other person is equal to I shall have to ask someone else. And second one, is your family going to any other place is equal to is your family going anywhere else. So, we can know the substitution of words where we used the else or is equal to other. The possessive case of else. The else is felt to be formally tied to the word coming before it. So, the correct possessive form anyone else sounds unnatural. The accepted form in current English is anyone else's. Look at the following sentence. The first one, I took someone else's hat. Second one, was anyone else's pocket picked. Third one, no one else's. Um, it means apostrophe is, is a parents were invited. So, with the example, we can use uh, uh, the possessive form. How we used, we can learn from this page. So, in uh, next day given, test yourself exercise, Roman letter 1, rewrite the following sentence using else. There are 15 sentences given. So, first all of you read, first 3 has done for you. What other place can we go for to? Is equal to where else can we go? Second one, has she any other thing to say? Is equal to has she anything else to say? Third one, all other people have, have gone is equal to everybody or everyone else has gone. Okay. Now, all of you turn page number 61. Page number 61. 
second row ma'am rewrite the following sentence using else the first one has already done it is not any other person's mischief it's a uh, answer is it is not anyone else mischief is equal okay so next one we are going to learn or or else is equal to otherwise or is equal to if not or can take place of the otherwise or if not else act is a kind of intensive here look at the following sentence the first one come early if you don't you don't get anything to eat is equal to come early otherwise you won't get anything to eat is come early or else you won't get anything to eat and they is also equal to come early or you won't get anything to eat so understood the difference between the three sentences so equals or 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 else or is equal to otherwise or if not second one put your coat on if you don't you will you will uh, catch a cold is equal to also put your coat on otherwise you will catch a cold and second one it's a uh, put your coat on or else you will catch a cold and of course put your coat on or you will catch a cold points to remember we can use a comma before or or else it uh, or 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 else we can use a semicolon or comma before otherwise okay so understood the concept how the else is equal for other here is also equal for otherwise or is e also equal for if not okay now turn page number 62 there is also a book mark exercise given there are first row men join the following pairs of sentence using otherwise there are 10 sentence given the first one has done do as you are told if you don't you will be punished for the first sentence do as you are told otherwise you will be punished second row men join the following pairs of sentence using or else the first one hide it if you don't they will steal it the first one done the answer is hide it or else you they will steal it okay so that's all my dear students i hope all you have understood the concept of lesson 12 in your grammar book the topic is else and or else okay so all of you revise this lesson and complete the book back exercise given in the page number 60 61 and 62 see you in the next class thank you